welcome back to Miss Cindy's Kitchen. And first off, I wanted to thank you all for your wonderful feedback and lots of shares and likes of my Tennessee onions video. And I now know that Vidalia seems to be the um, proper pron pronunciation. So <laughs> I'll go with that. All right. And hey everyone, big heads up. Alia Valley hold on. Six right now. Just <laughs> <laughs> trying to pull up the comments, and I got a stupid commercial, but commercials pay the bills, so anyway. Um, so, one comment by the name of Suzanne Hu um, suggested um, a bechamel sauce, kind of like scalloped, um, scalloped potatoes. And I was kind of thinking that myself when I was eating it, thinking that the cheese kind of was too clumpy after it was baked. And so I'm gonna try a cheesy bechamel sauce on the onion casserole tonight. And then I have both Italian breadcrumbs and um, regular um, panko breadcrumbs. So the Tower um, Tarot 13 said this would be a great side dish to bring at the holidays easy and delicious and lone storm 6313 from denmark says hi miss cindy i'm from denmark and i just fell over your video i just harvested my onions the other day and i have a lot so your recipe was absolutely meant for me and it looks delicious thank you I love comments like that because it means that you guys are really watching and enjoying my videos and gives me ideas on what to focus on on future videos. So like this, I'm kind of expanding on the idea for the bechamel sauce because I was kind of thinking that the first time I made it uh, based on how it tasted and the texture and that was a fabulous idea. And then um, Scott Tyree 73 Sorry, 7234 says, very well presented and looks delicious. And Jacqueline Milton, 6387, says it looks good. And Hey Teach, 35, thank you, Miss Cindy. I'm going to try this as a side dish. Just found your channel. And Connie Cruz, 8462, newbie here, love onions. So you have all given me some great feedback. And so now I'm going to make a cheesy bechamel sauce to go with the onions. So, I'm just going to make the sauce, and then that way we can speed through it while I'm making it. So, just keep watching, and make sure you like and subscribe. So, this is about a half a stick of butter. Gonna melt that and then let me get the flour. We need a quarter cup of all purpose flour. So I moved my flour bucket for dinner, so hold on a second. So I'll keep stirring this while you're. Yeah. So I got my quarter cup of flour. And I've already got the oven warming up. I'm gonna put the flour in. Oh, wanna grab the milk out of the microwave? It's already, just to bring it to room temperature, I warmed it up. Yeah, I am good for something. <laughs> and the milk. So, while that comes together, I'm going to put in the other stuff. So, you put in butter, milk, and flour. 
Mm -hmm. And then a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Gotta keep stirring. And then add a little more milk. you add the milk and gradually add the milk and gradually let the sauce thicken and let it come together and I'm gonna use a uh, whisk to break it up a little bit and then this calls for also a um, do, 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 a half a teaspoon of salt so gonna get that out I've never heard it called doo -doo 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 -doo, half a teaspoon. <laughs> yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And it's kind of funny, ages ago, whatchamacallit was just a replacement word when you couldn't figure out what you wanted to say. Then Hershey's was like, oh, that's a good name for a candy bar. <laughs> Actually, one of my favorite candy bars. Yeah. So, we're just stirring it, getting the lumps out of the flour. And as it thickens up, you add in some more milk. And this is preferable to be whole milk. However, on our last grocery run, we got 1% milk. So it's not gonna be as rich, but it'll still be just as tasty. So, doesn't that look yummy? And while that's thickening, we can go ahead and start placing our onions in the casserole pan. Ta -da! All right, and the onion casserole, we loved it. So my kids are like, we need to make this again. And you mentioned that one of your comments said this would be like good for like the holidays. Yeah. Which I totally agree. This would be really good for like, like a side dish or like Thanksgiving or Christmas. Yeah. All right, let me just keep that stirring. I always multitask when I'm in the kitchen. And make sure the camera stays on. Yeah. It keeps taking naps, so. I don't think it likes the hot weather because it's been out of the house too much lately. Yeah. We'll I think doing... it's getting overheated from being in the pan periodically with us. We've so. been doing a lot of filming on some of our other channels. Yeah. Doop -doop -doo. I sliced up the onions when I was getting the vegetables ready for dinner earlier. All right. I'm just going to use them all. What the heck? You know, just like butter. All right, let me just finish up this bechamel. That just sounded so good. But I love all the feedback you all have given me. It's so nice to see everybody watching it and liking it and sharing it because it means I'm on the right track for what videos appeal to you all the most. So. And tell them what video you have coming up. My next video? Yeah. Well, I'm going to be making some um, banana chocolate chip muff, uh, cupcakes. And what was the other one? The apple pie bars. The apple pie bars. Which actually sounds really good. Yes. Because I got some really cute boxes for, I have a little side business of baking. We have a captive audience at work um, because we don't really have a lot of food choices in our immediate area other than our vending room, which is okay, but fresh snacks are always better. So I've been bringing stuff in to sell. So it helps with little expenses like gas and groceries that may not seem little to you all, but Times have been tight with my husband not working, so yeah. every little bit helps. So, as this thickens, I'm going to add in... This is actually Colby Jack cheese. This okay. is our favorite cheese. It would be better to have um, sharp cheddar, but this is what we have, so that's what we're going to use. And, since it's a milder cheese, I'm using a little bit more of it and I just dropped cheese in front of Dahlia so she's gonna clean that right up and she's like oh I almost missed it 
Ooh, look at this. Yummy cheese sauce. Mm. Ooh. Looks good. Yeah. And it calls for a quarter cup of, let's see here, actually, one tablespoon of Parmesan cheese, but a little bit. The giant pinch. Yes. A little more pinch. It's all good. All right. So look at that. That looks really good. Yeah, we're going to have au gratin onions. That's going to be the bechamel cheese sauce. And let that thicken just a teeny bit. It's almost ready. Look at that. We're getting cheese strings. Woo. Nice. Yeah. All right, I'm going to turn off the flame. Let that continue to thicken. Dahlia, she's, what, trying, dog? Jeez. she's trying to get the fly. I think the fly snuck in when she went outside earlier. I don't see a fly. Maybe she ate it. Okay. Well, that's there was a little dog that swallowed a fly. Ask me why. Why did she swallow a fly? Okay. All right. <laughs> dog almost so, tripped me. All right. So here we go with the cheese sauce over. Over our onions. Doesn't that, that look looks delicious? So good. Yeah. So get all the little cheese sauce out of there. All right. And like we did with the other ones, let's get some oregano, like we did with the other. Um, casserole. Just put a little bit of oregano on it. And we had garlic powder on it before. So I'm going to do that and then we're going to put on some breadcrumbs. So let me just grab the breadcrumbs. I forgot to get them out earlier. All right. When you set up your kitchen, have everything where you're going to use it the most. And to make breadcrumbs taste extra special, you can saute them in some butter in a skillet. Hmm. But I'm just going for the simple version of this. So I appreciate all your feedback. So this is going to be going into the oven for about 35 minutes. And then we'll bring you back when it's done. And make sure you like and subscribe and share to your friends and keep leaving those lovely comments. And keeping with tradition I have the cabinet open uh -huh. anyway the onion casserole version 2.0 has now cooked for 35 minutes at 350 degrees okay so oh wow let's pull it out and let me roll the oven door closed you can get a nice up close view of it that's look good doesn't that look yummy yep all right, so we're going to take a break and work on something else while this cools. And while we do that, make sure you like and subscribe and leave us a comment and share, share, share. We love all the sharing you're doing and all the comments. And we'll be right back with you. All right. And now, ugh, got hair in my eyes. Anyway, now the onions have cooled off enough. So, we're going to now do a taste test on our onions with cheese sauce, which was a viewer suggested version, and I think it sounds awesome. So, Logan. I need one of the, I need the breadcrumbs. Yeah. Hmm. Good. Is that a good version of it? Mm -hmm. That's the same sauce as used for scalloped potatoes. Pretty much. Mm. Good? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> so, thank you again for suggesting the bechamel sauce with cheese for the onion casserole. And so now whenever I have the opportunity to try some Vidalia onions, I will think of you all 
So keep liking and subscribing and sharing and sharing and leaving us comments. We love hearing from you and come back again soon for another recipe. Thank you for watching Miss Cindy's Kitchen. To get more recipes like this one, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Share it out to your friends, family, neighbors, and leave us a comment to let us know how this recipe worked for you. And don't forget to hit that like button. Again, thank you for watching Miss Cindy's Kitchen.